Not her fault. Angels are just liars. Difficult. But Charlie's trying her best. Yeah, well, her best is turning out real well so far. And where would his Miss Fearless leader anyway? Isn't it about time for another doom to fail plan? She's upstairs. Coming up with something, I'm sure. In our room. Alone. Okay. I have enough on my mind without hearing Bruce's distant idea of a joke, asshole. Who's joking? <laughs> you have a captive audience downstairs waiting to hear what kind of inspiring performance you have planned next. Oh, I can't. How can I face them after failing them all so hard? They came here to this to fail, baby. I'm just as bad as the coolest overlord in hell. No, Maybe honey. worse. Oh, well, I never expected to see such a miserable display of self-loathing from you. Oh, fuck you, Alistair. All you do is stand there smiling while you watch us struggle and fail. I don't know how you can enjoy all the suffering so much. <laughs> Just because you see a smile, don't think you know what's going on underneath. A smile is a valuable tool, my dear. It inspires your friends, keeps your enemies guessing, and ensures that no matter what comes your way, you're the one in control. But I'm not. I'm the farthest thing from in control. The person I trust most has been lying to me for years, and then refuses to listen. Even if they did, I can't prove the hotel works. Adam has an invincible exorcist army pointed right at my doorstep, and there's nothing I can do about any of it! Yeah. It's not great, babes. Lister. Huh? Those big scary angels are not quite as indestructible as they seem. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, that's right. Just that you and your little band of misfits might stand more of a chance than you think. How? I'll do anything. I forgot she didn't anything. know that an angel was killed. Then, let's make a deal. You... You want my soul? Your soul. Alistair. No. All I need from you is one itty-bitty favor. It's a favor between friends. I won't hurt anyone for you. Who's asking? One favor at a time of my choosing where you harm no one. In return, I tell you what I know. Do we have a deal? Me? Okay. Deal. Oh, my little cherry. No, no. Right on you. What did you do? Let her go. Baggy, stop. What? Charlie, please tell me you didn't. I made a deal with Alistair. Charlie! Oh, calm down. She still owns her soul. He gave me info that can save the hotel, but we're going to need help. The angels can be defeated, and Carmilla is the key. What? Carmilla Carmine? She killed an exorcist in the last extermination. She knows how they can be harmed. But I, I didn't even know that was possible. If you did, will you have told me? Charlie. Ooh. I need you to Ooh. convince her to teach us. If she can, we might have a chance. With just the seven of us? No, we're, we're gonna need numbers, too. And I know just who can help. As long as Charlie can be her normal, charming self. What's that you said about smiles? Good girl. Charlie, can we talk about this? We can talk later. Right now, we have a job to do. You with us? <sighs> Oof. Charlie just left like they were running away from their responsibilities. Should we be alarmed? No. Should we be alarmed? Includes defending yeah. ourselves against the angels. Uh, are you fucking high? They can be killed. Yeah, that night lady Camaro car fight killed one. Wait, you knew about this? Oh, uh, yeah. I told Boss about it months ago. He what? Boss, they say insane shit all the time. How was I supposed to know this one was true? Bank accounts are a scam created Shadow What's important now is that we're gonna have a fight on our hands. Look, this hotel's about to become the most dangerous place in hell, and we... I can't guarantee your safety anymore. 
I still believe in Charlie's dream. I know this place can work, but none of you have signed up for this. I'm gonna go learn how we can fight back, but when I come home, well, I'll understand if none of you are here. Man, it's so good. Okay. Okay. Years, three years I've been sharing my life with her, and I tell her everything. My hopes, my dreams, my insecurities, my embarrassing habits, what fucking deodorant I like, and she keeps something like this from me. Why would she like her so much? She think I wouldn't accept her? What about me? Me says un-understanding. Misunderstanding. It's cannibal surprisingly nice here. Isn't it though? And it's all thanks to a very special someone. Well, who hasn't thought about eating their first husband? I certainly would have if he didn't taste so bad. <laughs> I tell you what, you bring old, tall, dark, and armless to me, and I'll straighten him right out. Okay, sweetie. Now here's my card. And oh my stars. Do my eyes deceive me? Right open Hello? the door. You have two minutes to convince me not to silence you for good. Miss Carmine, I'm here on appointment from the princess to enlist your aid in the defense of hell from the angelic extermination. We know an angel fell at your hands, and we need to know how. No. What do you mean, no? The princess of hell. What do you mean, means no? To me. You have to do better than that. 90 seconds. With your knowledge, we wouldn't have to helplessly stand by while- Clearly, I am not the helpless one here. 80 seconds. Well, then why? Why wouldn't you use what you know to fight? To avoid the very problem you and your little friends are facing right now, I will not invite destruction into my house on my people. You think we ask I mean, this? destruction's All happening. Like, it's not invited. It's, it's happening. Slash, include your people, too. And how exactly has that worked out for her? 45 seconds. We didn't pick the fight, but it's here now, and they aren't going to stop with us. You didn't see the look on their leader's face. With us out of the way, it's only a matter of time before they come for the rest of you. 
They won't stop until all of hell is wiped out, so you can help us make a stand here together. Or you can stand alone tomorrow, and what do you think your chances will be then? You're out of town. <laughs> Angels attack quickly, viciously, and without mercy. You'll need to defend better than that. Damn. Now, fair warning, this group sticks together. So in order to convince any of them, you'll need to convince all of them. And there's one in particular. Uh, Susan. Susan. Who's a bit of a... Ugh, Susan. Uh, old bitch. That. Old She's old tough. Bitch. But when over, and the rest will be easy as pie. Ready? I guess. Charlie, contain your life, please. I mean, yeah. I'm used to fighting with long hair. By showing you, used to fighting with long hair. Yours and all your sisters. Wait, you know I'm an exorcist? How? You have a giant X over your eye and wield an angelic spear. It's not rocket science. Because you found out about <laughs> you have a giant X over your eye and wield an angelic spear. No. That shows in how you fight. You leave yourself open with every swing. You fight like someone unafraid of harm. And this is what you'll take advantage of. Angels wield no shields, little armor, and fight with reckless abandon. Strike the tire, clear, and With what? Some secret weapon of yours? Stupid girl, are you really so dense you don't realize you're holding the answer? Angelic weapons? It's that simple? How has no one else figured this out? How has no one else figured this out? Steel isn't common. And those who have it aren't exactly rushing off to test it against exorcists. I mean, that's my fair, I guess. I were cornered in that last extermination. I tried to buy time for my girls to flee in the world. You don't become an angelic arms dealer without arming yourself first. I suppose that's fair. Charlie. You said you love this girl. Yes. Yes. Oh, well, I... Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you ever once doubted that she loves you in return? No. Well, then what's the problem? She took part in the very thing we've been working so hard to end. Well, wow. there's that. Isn't that silly hotel of yours all about redemption? Yes. Yeah. Perhaps this girl is trying to redeem herself 